Howdy, cadre. Uh, same night for me. I just checked my text message and... Yeah. I am tracking a letter that I sent to... my landlord through certified mail and I signed up for uh, like tracking text notifications to track my package And I just checked all the things. And one of the things I checked, apparently, <laughs> was text me when it departs a postal facility. And, yep, it just left a distribution center. So I may get another text in the middle of the night when it hits um, the post office in Ypsilanti, maybe? I don't know. I didn't need that much detail, but it's supposed to be delivered today. It's a long letter I wrote to, what was it, three page, I think? Um, yeah, to my landlord. Um... Yeah, kind of my response to him asking me to move out. Now where are these noises? Well, I'm not worried about the chicken so much. I thought I dealt with the lighting issues. It's gonna drive me crazy forever, isn't it? So I yeah, my I, I guess I'm talking about this. I don't know what my priorities right now, other than, uh, well, I could take the planks. I suddenly have a lot of junk on me again. Um, oh, and all this I probably need to unload. I should do this in an organized fashion, but I'm not. Um, yeah, I guess I guess I'm potion of the turtle master. Slowness and resistance, huh? Oh, this was on the wall. That's right. Um, talking about this? I guess I'm talking about this. Because I part of me is like if he asks me to sign yeah I had a dispute with an employer and as part of that agreement uh, he asked me to sign a non-disclosure 
or that was a clause and and I can't talk about it really I feel like I've been vague enough but my point is <clears throat> without being specific that I have made agreements in the past that involved not talking about things and there's a good chance that that might come up in this property dispute so in a way if I talk about it now I can get it out of my system and I don't think I would be breaking a future agreement if I had already talked about it and then unless he asks me uh, what yeah I think he shot himself unless he specifically asks me to dis disclose whether I had already talked about it um, I think I think I'd be safe. I mean, anything I signed would have to specifically talk about the things I had already posted on social media or, or something. So maybe I should talk more about it. So. Part of the reason I haven't been sleeping, I guess this is a continuation of my last few videos, Greenfield videos. Um, and yeah, this has been an issue that has, that has built up over time, um, both psychologically and phenomenologically I probably don't need torches in every row but I appear to be doing that and I'm out okay so I missed one corner but it's not the corner I sleep in so that should help a bit or a lot I was going to say but um So, yeah, the place I'm, I've been living in for 14 years has gotten worse and worse, and my relationship with my landlord has gotten worse and worse, and I guess, I guess I'm going to take these upstairs. Maybe, yeah, maybe one, one copy of each. Um, and, and, and it all overlaps, and the condition of where I live has gotten worse. All right, let's use the middle box for this stuff. Let's see. Uh, white. Um, yellow, orange, whatever. Lime green. Brown, yeah, yeah. What? No. Nope. I don't. I don't know specifically what I'm doing. I'm doing generally stuff. Light blue, cyan, light blue. Yeah. Um, I think that's all I had. Oh, there's black. Uh, okay. So. Yeah, I guess if I'm going to try and start kind of at the beginning. Heck, maybe I'm partly responsible for starting the tone of our relationship. But when I signed my lease 
14 years ago, I noticed there was a part about late fees, and it said, you know, if, uh, if my monthly rent was late, that my landlord could charge a late fee of $25. And I didn't think that was unfair. But I knew that I wasn't very good at monthly payments. And that's exactly what I told him. I said, look, I'm, I'm not... I'm not the greatest at keeping track of time from month to month. And... Uh, You know, this was the only real negative I had to say, to say bef to him before I signed. I said, if I'm late, I don't want you to worry. I, I'll, I have your money. And, I, you know, I'm never going to bounce a check. I'll, I'll tell you if I don't, you know, if something changes with my finances and I don't have your money. But, um, I... I I don't want you to worry about getting your money from me. If I'm late, just let me know and I'll write you a check. And he seemed okay with that. And and to his credit, I have gotten later and later. And over the years, I've um, I've grown accustomed to that. Uh, that casualness, that respect he's offered me, and that, oh, there's raiders up on the roof. Um, and so at, at times I've owed him for many months. And when he asks me for rent money, Traditionally, I've written him a check for everything I owed. Uh, and that, that has changed in the last few years because um, it's getting dark. I should just go back inside and sleep. Um, since I lost my job and... 2016 my finances have been a lot tighter and I went on it unemployment ow um, assistance for you know right after that for six months or whatever it was that I qualified for I can't remember um, but it it took me over a year to find a job and I was in a dispute with my employer about um, the way I was laid off and severance. Um, and again, I can't get into that in detail. And I ret retrained myself to be a fire investigation technician and Evidence collection technician, uh, but uh, finances were still tight, and so I got a job with the U.S. government, part-time work, temporary stint. And then the pandemic hit. So anyways, that's a whole bunch, a whole series of financial hardships that, where am I going? Um, what am I doing? That have met in the last year, I've fallen quite a bit behind, but darn it. Ah, oh, man. Didn't, didn't, didn't want to do that, really. I hear the raiders. Um, I blew out glass. 
Don't have more glass on me. You guys can't get down here, huh? Oh, there's food out here. Um. Oh, you can. You can get down here. Well, this is... Well, taking out the bushes, that's for sure. You still on the roof, or... Nope, you're there. Different section of roof. I can't get past... Oh. You're the one with the banner. Okay. I've got the bad omen. That's a lot of arrows. Um... Boy, lost my train of thought, didn't I? Where'd I put the other one? Oh, I hung it downstairs. Maybe I'll bring it up here. Yeah, this is a long story, though. I don't know if I can get through it. Um, part of the complication is that the landlord has a son and a while ago he told me that his son was working on getting his real estate license so that he could uh, not only just manage properties but also buy and sell properties and so for a long time I was dealing with his son who was not very ouch oh okay I caught it who was not very good at communicating and not very good at maintaining the property um, I would ask him to do things and he would stall for months and I wasn't aware of the laws surrounding it so I would just be patient for months might send him text reminders every every few weeks or whatever and he'd always make promises oh 